Sorry. Like, he likes you better than Hi. me. That's so rude. <laughs> Cool, new best friends. <laughs> Hi, Imani. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. No, thank you and for letting having me. Actually, me be here at your place. My pleasure. Tell me about you and like your relationship to fashion and how you got where you are. Hmm, it's like a long story, I guess, but a funny time, one. Yes, yeah, we have time. <laughs> I was in second grade the first time I heard of FIT. One of my classmates was like, "I'm gonna become a fashion designer. Like, I'm gonna go to FIT." And I was like, "What is that?" And she's like, "It's like a fashion design school." And I was like, "Oh, okay. Like, I need to do that like, too." Same. I'm like, "Yeah, we're both gonna do that." And like, literally, like by like the next week. I had like my whole sketchbook filled with like these designs that I made which were hilarious always like cohorts like matching top and like shorts with orange with like green polka dots or like purple and yellow striped like off the shoulder top it's like I don't sounds know sounds kind of fun I feel like it sounds like something you might actually wear you know it's now. definitely yeah I know I think <laughs> I like predicted relationship with color I think yeah. was definitely like very real to this day I'm from upstate New York Albany which is like a very small city and a very boring city it was fun to grow up in but like just none of the creative like pursuits that I would have wanted like were gonna be there. I just remember like being in high school and just like living on the internet, scrolling through Tumblr all the time and just seeing like all these cool things that were happening in New York, especially like with kids my own age. Like I remember like seeing like the body positive movement like blowing up and like just all these like small events and things that like teenagers were like creating. And I was like, I want to like be a part of that. And so that kind of like really led my decision to go to school in New York. And so like when I was applying for colleges, pretty much everywhere I applied was in the city or like very close by. I ended up going to Barnard, which is part of Columbia. Smart. <laughs> Smarty pants, it smart was an and experience. cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it was like definitely a great experience going there. I studied urban studies and like minored in Spanish, but then like throughout school, I was like interning, doing like fashion writing internships, like style assisting, and some marketing, advertising, that kind of thing. And then during my last semester of college, I like, got signed to my modeling agency, JAG, which is like so great and fun. So it's like now I'm kind of like working on both ends, so, like yeah. kind of behind the camera and like it's good you know the whole spectrum you know yeah. what goes into it and then you know like every facet mm -hmm. it's really really cool like i like having a lot of different perspectives in this like one world it's yeah. really nice hey let's go in your closet <laughs> let's do it let's go what i did is i pulled some stuff from imani's closet mm -hmm. and then i also pulled stuff of my own to bring here to sort of mix what you have and what i think would be a good addition to your wardrobe based on your super colorful instagram yes, and all like the amazing perfect rainbow i know happening. you can like tell your personal style if you like put a rack of all your favorite clothes mm -hmm. and i feel like this is very you because you mix so many different styles you mix colors you mix prints you mix basics so honestly even though this might look like a hot Podge. It's like that's sort <laughs> no, of it's, it's a collage. Fun. It's and a there's collage a lot of, of all things different to work things. With. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's really exciting and cool. Me, for example, I find that I dress really basic mm -hmm. and that's what I feel comfortable with, but it's so refreshing and amazing to see somebody that has such like a good understanding of color and print and texture. What I want to do is I wanted to go over like a few of the summer trends that we kind of came up with together yeah. and make looks based on the trend and break down each piece and show how you can sort of make it more wearable. And like in no way I'm trying to like tone down your stuff because no. your style's amazing, but I feel like for people who feel like they can't pull off all that color or they wouldn't feel comfortable it's like sometimes you have to have one thing that you feel super comfortable with and then add in something new and exciting and that's that's how you make it work so the first trend we talked about was animal print yes. and i actually saw on your instagram you were wearing this amazing look the python <laughs> tank top with the shorts oh my god yeah. wait 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 wait. we're not done <laughs> and the back mm -hmm. so when i saw you wearing this on instagram i was like wow <laughs> wow this is amazing it looks so good on you but i see how some of people that follow you might be like it's so amazing but lot. i could never i could never mm -hmm. so for example i would just take this tank top and pair it with just like a pair of jeans yeah, yeah. like a pair of jeans and then you could like throw a blazer on over mm -hmm. or not but you still have the trend piece but then you're wearing something really simple so if you look yeah. really good in jeans it's like okay i can have my jeans i can feel comfortable i can feel safe and then i'm gonna add something fun yeah absolutely maybe you could still do the python bag like, honestly, <laughs> yeah i think so or, or even, even a bag you could with, like, do a like a shoe color. or something with yeah. a print just exactly. like break it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Do you wanna try this on and see how it looks? Yeah, let's do it. Here she is, she looks amazing. I think it's like really simple, really toned down. I even, maybe like a blazer, cause yeah. I think, I like tonal. So I would go like with the browns and then like the brown bag. And there you go, that's like a totally different look and idea from what you were wearing with the all python, but it's still like, it hits that python mm -hmm. check, we got it. And it's what more every day, like yeah. you could totally like, 
have this as a daytime look rather than like all animal print is definitely like a very bold moment. Yeah, and it's a great best moment. That's really... suited for the night. Yeah, but... even like those shorts. Yeah. I would do that with just a tank. Yeah, and your do, sneakers. Like, a bunch of jewelry or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something like that. And like a pair of like your really fun sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And that also has a sporty element, but the animal print makes it like a bit sexier and gives yeah. it like that texture, mm -hmm. which I really like. Animal print, we did it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've been super into a silky shirt moment yes. these days. So I'm loving this. Nice. Also loving this guy. But I think for like combining color, it'd be really fun to do something with this slip skirt. Oh yeah. Green and red for me is always Christmas. too Christmassy. So, Christmas. so I think the blue I love and the that. the green could be fun, like a I like cool that. moment. I love it. And it's so colorful and it's like the color blocky. Yeah. Which I feel like would be so great for you. I usually say that like I don't really like silky and silky, mm -hmm. but in this case, I feel like it works, especially because it's like they're so different. Like they're yeah. super color blocky. If this was like a black skirt mm -hmm. and it was silky and then there was like a black silky top, I wouldn't like it as much. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think there needs to be a balance. It's like breaking it up a bit. So let's try that on. Okay, cool. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I feel like if you're really crazy, like you are, you would like do it with like a super bright yes. slide. Just color Go block. Go full on. Do it up. If you like love, like I want silky, I want bright color, but mm -hmm. maybe it's a little a bit too much. World. I would try next a white t-shirt, white jacket, and then maybe like your sneakers, yeah. for example. I like to pair it with white instead of black. Cause mm -hmm. black for some reason just reminds me of like neon, yes. like, right? Like a laser tag <laughs> totally plays like or one something. Of those, like middle school birthday they party totally with, but with yes. white i feel like it brightens it and like mm -hmm. it looks like a bit fresh. more fresh so, so maybe just that. quickly try this one on for sure here she is <laughs> I would roll the sleeves for sure. You can even like take the jacket off and just do the t-shirt. And I would do it probably, I mean, you don't have to put them on now with like Super. your Nikes and maybe matchy matchy, but it's like Fun. for me at least, that helps me like understand the look. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to have like something matching something. Yeah, because, pull it all together. Yeah, so I feel like that could be super cute. I'll take off the jacket. Yep. Let's also see. Again, really cute, mm -hmm. easy. Easy. I like when it looks like, oh, I just threw on this like silky. Mm -hmm. Like slip. nothing precious about it. Just exactly. like, oh, it's easy, just throw it on. Okay, so next, what was our next one? Tie-dye? Yeah, tie-dye. You have some options, right? We got this guy. That's so amazing. Honestly, Actually, if you want to really get fun, this with this. It's still wild, but for me, again, the fact that it's green and green, my brain is like able to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to process Put it together. that. You look like a fun lady. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw you, I would Ready to want party. to be your friend. <laughs> what else would you do with the tie-dye? I feel like since it's oversized, it's like a really easy, cool moment to do like a short maybe could yeah. be fun. Just to like break it up a little bit. I mean, we could do a bike short, which I think would be super fun and easy. Mm -hmm. Or could go over a slip dress, which would be super that. cool. I love wearing like a silky blouse as a jacket, especially yeah. in the summer. You just kind of throw it on. You can even do like a little tie. Mm -hmm. You actually maybe want to try it on. I want let's to see it. it. Let's, <laughs> let's just let's do it. Give the okay. people what yeah. they want. Let's do that. <laughs> I love it. So cute. I like it. I kind of like it untied better. You know, I like to know that there's an option. Mm -hmm. I would probably do this again, maybe with a sneaker or just mm -hmm. like a black flat shoe, something really, really simple. So this can be like the highlight. Yeah, I think it's super cute. Another thing, just yeah, like a simple, tie -dye. basic tie dye. I would do with a denim short and then even blazer. a blazer, mm -hmm. something like that. To dress it up a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this would be so cute with like a high waisted blue jean. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would do it with those white, sort of like ladylike heel. I feel like that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Like a grown up tie dye. You exactly. Know? It's like a way to sort of make it chic. And then bike shorts look. I got some black ones. We've got ones some black here. ones. We've got some leopard. <laughs> Leopard ones. These ones are good. I feel like people are scared of bike shorts because they're really sporty. And I think a good way to unsporty them would be to do like the black bike shorts, for example, with a silky blouse mm -hmm. or something that is dressed up. This has like a really nice shine to it, like a nice silky blouse and then a blazer or something to dress it up. Mm -hmm. Again, that's like sort of a proportion thing, like when things are really oversized and long and then you have like the short yeah. shorts. I feel like that's really cute. We could Some add options. a colorful bag. I also tend to like this with like a more ladylike shoe. Like mm -hmm. I would do something like this. So cute. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a really fun way to experiment. Also, if you were a little crazier, which you are, 
<laughs> not everyone is. You could do it yeah. like that because that also is still still, like still in pretty, the same color family. Yeah, and it's still neutral. Yeah, and I think that's with shapes. Yeah, I like the playing with shapes. Let's try this one first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit of like a Tony Soprano up top, going for a bike ride on the bottom. I like that. And fully into it. It's like yeah. Tony and Carmela mixed together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe these are actually more Carmela. Soprano. Yeah. Honestly, yes. I like this again. The colors are neutral. The shorts look amazing on you. I feel like it's nice to have a little heel when you're showing your legs. Mm -hmm. So these black mules are super cute. And I feel like it gives it, I mean, this is a real 80s look, mm -hmm. I gotta say. <laughs> I find it very chic yeah. and wearable and really cute. And I feel like this is a place where we can add the python bag mm -hmm. or even like the sunglasses. I love that. It's ready to go. You could do like a black blazer. Again, the proportions of the oversize. Oh yeah, I love that. Let me judge you. <laughs> so cute, wait, let me do a Polaroid. <laughs> love it, love it. This one's pink. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> you could do it with the printed ones if you're feeling frisky. I think it's a good compromise of easy and then again trying something new. Yeah. What else would like really make sense with these like super oversized proportions? I mean you could wear like jeans with it. As far as shorts go, I feel like a cutoff might feel like a little too I don't sloppy. know. Sloppy. Yeah, exactly. I feel like a bike short's just like it gives you a little bit of a length, but it's just like simple. It's almost like a legging in a way. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. A little classier, like a little you can tell that you put the effort in. For sure. You know? I think that it's flattering. Flattering, yeah. And you can wear anything that you want. Like mm -hmm. there's no rules. We all make these like stupid, stupid, stupid rules for ourselves mm -hmm. and there's really no point. No you point. can truly wear whatever you want and if you feel comfortable in something, wear it. No, exactly. It's not like something was made for one person. It's like everyone can have their own spin on it. It's, yeah, it's really just about like breaking through these like ideas or these like societal conceptions that have been like created by someone else and it's like you really don't need to adhere to them at all. It's no, like, like who even created these ideas? Yeah, exactly. Who said we can't wear white after Labor Day? Who said we can't wear socks and sandals? It's I don't like, know that person. I don't want to meet them. <laughs> Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. It's just like getting out of your head and like stop worrying about like what other people think and just like worry about like what makes you feel good and like what makes you excited to like step out of your house that day, you know? Like, it's true. And even like when you put this on, it's like you had a different persona. Yeah. When you put something else on, it's like clothes really do make you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. And just dress in the way that you want to feel. Mm -hmm. So if you want to feel like Tony Soprano, yeah, and I do, do it, girl. <laughs> yeah, why would? Honestly, why wouldn't you? You look so I'm amazing. The boss, you know. So just to sort of summarize what we did here, I mean, this to me, it still has the color, it mm -hmm. still has the personality, it still has the prints, but it's like we also have it grounded in more like basic neutral things. Totally. So we did first the animal print with the denim, right, and the blazer. We did the bike shorts, which you're wearing, and then you could also do the animal print ones. We did the color blocking, boom. Could also do the tie dye, boom. Or we did this also with the white, and then we also did the tie dye here, and we said that it would be super cute to do something like this as well, mm -hmm. the denim. Basically, all we did is we just took the trends and mm -hmm. we added basics to them. I think we made some really, really cute looks. Yeah, definitely. What do you think? I agree. And like very wearable. Things people already have in their closets exactly. or like that they're used to wearing every day. Just adding in a few more unexpected or like trendy elements. They're still developing. Oh. <laughs>